Hi, I'm Wendy Cowles. I'm a nurse practitioner from the United States. But I've worked in rural India for the last 13 years with neonates. I'd like to share some ideas with you today about saving babies from hypothermia. I've seen many babies die from hypothermia in rural areas in the northern parts of India and these ideas and facts can help you to save many babies in your hospital. So what exactly is hypothermia? Anytime a baby's temperature gets below 36.5, this is abnormal and the baby is heading towards hypothermia. If the baby's temperature gets below 35, this is dangerous hypothermia and it is time to warm that baby as quickly as possible. You should check the baby's temperature with a rectal thermometer to see exactly what the temperature is if you have any doubts. Also, if you have a low reading thermometer, this is the best way to check if a baby is hypothermic. So what are the causes of hypothermia? One cause is evaporation. Anytime the baby is wet, he quickly will become hypothermic if he's not dried and warmed. So instances such as the delivery room, it's important to dry that baby quickly even if he's sick. And if the baby later becomes wet, just because of wet sheets and nappies, it's important to change those quickly so evaporation doesn't cause hypothermia. A second way babies can become hypothermic is from cold surfaces that they're placed on, such as a cold table, a cold bed, or even from cold blankets. A third way babies lose heat is through convection such as cold air blowing on them from a fan or air conditioning. The fourth cause of heat loss is radiation from the baby's body. The baby's body is warm and if the air around him is cold, then the heat from the baby's body will slowly go out into the air around him. So in real life, what happens? What do we really see? Hypothermia easily happens in a home delivery where there is no source of heat or in the hospital if there is no warmer in the delivery room or the operating theater. It can also happen if the baby is not dried quickly after birth as often happens in a resuscitation when the baby is sick and many people are working on the baby to help him to breathe. Sometimes people forget to keep the baby warm during this process. Hypothermia can also be caused by wet clothing after the birth, so it is important to keep the baby dry at all times. It can be caused by exposure through phototherapy, or it can be caused by not having enough clothes or a hat on the baby. So how do our bodies usually protect themselves from hypothermia? Our bodies have to keep the temperature but in a very narrow range in order to keep us alive. It does this by two methods. The first method is by burning calories. This is the metabolic efforts of our body. We take in food, this gives us calories, and then we burn those calories to keep warm. The second method for warming our body is through muscular activity. We often do this on our own by jumping or rubbing our hands to keep warm. But our bodies also do this automatically through shivering. The body also does its best to conserve heat. It does this by sending less of that warm blood to the arms and legs when we're cold. You'll notice cold hands and cold feet. Often we rub our hands together to keep them warm because when we get cold, that's the first thing that becomes the coldest. The same thing will happen in a baby. You will notice cold hands and cold feet first. Okay, it's time for a break. Please pause the video here and answer a few questions about the previous section.